what do you make of your team's fight tonight down it's, by 30? You know, it's funny. Someone, maybe you asked me before the game. It's, um, you, you just love this group. They, they just don't give in. Um, they allow you to coach them. They allow you to sub them without drama, you know. Um, we were just looking for a lineup tonight. I mean, they, they, they were beating us in every facet of the game and we kept searching, we kept searching and we kind of stumbled on one that we liked. Uh, we kind of, we changed a couple of things offensively and defensively in the fourth or in the third on the fly. And, you know, it worked out for us, but I thought it was our spirit more than anything. You know, um, just every single guy. Uh, I love the end of the game that Shea made a great decision pass and then Shell made a big shot. Those are two of our rookies down the stretch of a game. Uh, I loved it. Tomer's Arley, Clutch Points. Doc, you guys, uh, it's simple to say heart, but down 31, they throw in some of their, you know, down, down the bench guys. Is it as simple as just keep fighting? We this? have to. It's, it's who we are. You know, uh, we talked about that every time out. It's, it's just who we are. Um, be us. We said it over and over. Let's be us. Uh, don't change. Um, keep playing the way we play. Um, and, you know, they hung in there long enough. And, and we found a way to win a game. Uh, Shelly Smith from ESPN. Landry said that you mentioned it at halftime. What did you tell them at halftime? That we were going to win. You know, just hang in there. Um, just hang in there long enough. Uh, I was honest with them. I said, I don't know how. Um, I said, we're going to figure this out. Uh, but just hang in there. Just hang in there with each other. Um, and I thought they did that. Even in the uh, in the third when you guys were down uh, quite a bit, Pat was was still clapping and, and, and getting getting yeah. into it defensively. <clears throat> he's he's so important yep. for us, you know. Um, I think people get lost in some of his antics and stuff, um, but his spirit and his soul is so important for our team. Um, you know, he he was encouraging everybody. I thought him and, and Lou in particular uh, in the timeouts when we were down. Um, I thought they, I, I, they kept going to the young guys. You could see that. I, I thought that was really important for us. Coach, uh, Steph obviously got off to a really hot first half, 22 yeah. points. Um, what went into slowing him down so much, just taking away some of those shots that he was not Well, I think foul trouble helped us. You know, he got in foul trouble, uh, let's be honest. And, and so he wasn't on the floor. Uh, that's the best defense that you can possibly have on him. Um, and then I thought... You know, on the other end, we involved him in a lot of plays. Um, I didn't think we did that in the first game. And so I thought he was fresh on offense uh, because he didn't have to do a lot on defense. And I thought we did a better job there. Doc, you guys were heavy underdogs in this series, not even to win a game. How do you not get satisfied with just one game? No, that's not enough for us. We didn't come here for that. Like, um, this is special. When you, I don't care if you're playing. I can't think of a really, really, really bad team. Uh, and you're, you're down 30 on the road to anybody, and you come back, it's special. But that's what was special, not winning a game. Um, you can hear them in the locker room. They're not talking about that. They're talking about coming back and winning. Um, but they have expectations. This team does, and no one wants to agree with us, and that's fine. We're fine with that. But this team has – we have our own expectations, and we're going to keep them.